last phase CML is fortunately very rare now um, with the success of the TKIs and only a, a few percent of patients will progress on TKI to advanced phase. However, probably about 5% of patients will actually present in blast phase CML. So we do need to continue to develop treatment options for these patients. TKIs on their own, be it imatinib, second generation drugs or panatinib, they do have um, effects in the majority of patients achieving a hematological response and in some patients a cytogenetic response but these responses are not maintained and most patients will relapse within 6 to 12 months and within these studies median overall survival is between 6 and 12 months so it's essential that we develop new therapies and combination therapies for these patients to get better responses and bridge these patients to transplant which at the moment is the only realistic curative option in these patients. So within the UK, we've recently conducted a, a clinical trial called Matchpoint, which was combining flag eye chemotherapy with panatinib. And this showed really promising results with two thirds of patients achieving a second chronic phase. Half of the patients achieved a complete cytogenetic response and 12 patients were able to go on and receive an allogeneic stem cell transplant of the 17 patients that entered the study. One year survival was 47% and three year survival was 41%, which compares very favourably with the PACE data, which looked at panatinib for blast phase CML, where the three year overall survival was only 9%. So I think this is an example of the incremental improvements that we're seeing in the management of CML, and by no means is 47% a good response for patients with blast phase CML. We now need to take that and try and work with it to improve res responses, whether that's by adding additional agents or slightly modifying the treatment in some way. There's also a, an interesting study that's underway in France at the moment, combining panatinib with azacitidine for myeloid blast phase CML. And I think it will be really interesting to see the results of that and see if they're favorable as compared to either TKI on its own or as in comparison to match point. And the MD Anderson have also done work looking at the combination of hyperceivad chemotherapy with panatinib. Again, that has shown favorable results as compared to TKI on its own. So I think for blast phase, the way forward is for combination therapies, but we can still do a lot better than where we are at the moment. The future potentially includes CAR T cell and antibody therapies, but these are very much in their infancy for advanced phase CML, but we continue to watch this space and are excited for the future.